over this last week, I have made it an absolute challenge of mine to find a large cap cryptocurrency in which I can turn my small amount of investment into a literal fortune with over the coming years. And of course, while you're watching the video, this project happens to be Solana. Now there is a very good reason or multiple reasons actually as to why I've settled on Solana, which will be unveiled over the course of this video. And you're also going to be getting my millionaire strategy that I'll be following. And again, it's very important here, following to the T exactly over these coming years. So with that being said, make sure you like the video and let's get into it. So let's begin with some of the basics. First of all, one Solana ride now is valued at about $65. And yes, that's quite a long shot from the recent price. It was at around $20 to $25. I know we did kind of miss it, but the prices should go back to those levels, I would assume, pretty soon. Now, the 20 Solana target here every single month stems from, again, what we're going to look at in a minute, which is my overall millionaire plan, okay? But it's currently pretty expensive. At the current price, it's about $1,300 every single month. And personally speaking, this is the maximum I can currently afford to invest in Solana. If the price goes any higher, I am capping it and you'll see in a minute, I plan to actually hold off investing uh, with cash on the side, by the way, I plan to use that cash and hold it for Slider to again, go to $65 or less where I will begin again, re-accumulating. So, you know, the plan is very much so strict, but there is going to be one contingency, one little change that we can make. And that's of course, when it becomes unfeasible to buy. Again, that's like 325 bucks every single week. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. So here's my plan. My plan is to buy 20 Solana every month, again, contingent on the price. But the goal is to get 240 Solana every single year for the next six years. And again, the overarching goal here is actually to get 1,440 Solana up until 2029, which is when I will stop. Now I get it, right? Some of you are thinking to yourselves, Kyron, I cannot do that. I can't wait the next six years. You know, I need to make money yesterday. You know, in six years, I'll be 25 years. I'll be an old man by then. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Everyone in this world currently has, has attention deficit disorder. We all want things yesterday. We all can't sit still for more than two minutes. And we all want money now. I get it. I take the position of Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger in this case. And I specifically found Solana to be a project that will be worth holding for this period of time. You can almost look at it as a stock, right? Something you will make more money in in the long term. So again, I'll explain why in this video, but for all you guys again, getting up in arms about, oh my God, this whole process, six years, dollar cost averaging every month over six years. Are you kidding me? That's unfeasible. Well, again, watch the video. Tell me it's unfeasible at the end, because again, if there's a big pot of cash on the end of the rainbow, why not? Now, of course, the plan with Solana here is that it's a much safer investment than like a mid cap or a small cap, even a large cap, other large caps being one to two billion dollars. This is a, you know, very much so established cryptocurrency at this point. So let me now continue on. Here's the one contingency part, okay? So again, we can't afford to buy 20 Solana every single month over the next six years because, well, for those who aren't already aware, we've got a bull run coming up here around the corner, right? So of course, I'm going to be buying less over $65. Matter of fact, that is my cap. I am not buying any more Solana. Again, I take the cash I would have spent on Solana and I'm putting it to the side. Again, you might be thinking to yourself, why is this dude so freaking, you know, crazy hyper enthusiastic about Solana for? Like, that sounds like such an effort to me. Why not just buy another cryptocurrency? I get it. You can most definitely do that. This is my long-term bag I'm talking about here. Okay, I'm not talking about a bag I'm looking to, you know, uh, spend a bunch of money on over the next you know, a few months for the hope of 2025. This is my more so secured long-term investment, okay? You'll see why. So again, we don't want to buy as much in the lead up to the bull run because you can't afford to spend, you know, 20 Solana tokens when the price is at 200 bucks. That's like, what, 20 grand or something? We can't afford that, all right? So we buy less on the way up and more on the way down, okay? And we will, of course, have the benefit of being in the next bear market, which is when this will all be most definitely worth it. So with that being said, I want to now take you guys over here and have a look at where this kind of, kind of all stems from, right? This is a website called stakingrewards.com and is again where I base most of this off. So again, remember the end goal here is to accumulate 1,440 Solana over the next six years. Whether that actually doesn't even happen over the next two years and mainly happens over that subsequent, you know, three to four years, that's fine. Absolutely, okay? It doesn't matter. I'm not saying I have to buy it all now, 
I'm saying this is a long-term investment, so it might be only in the bear market we begin doing this, really. So this website allows you to pick a validator to stake to, and we should all be staking our cryptocurrencies. If you're not, you are, again, I've made many videos on this, you're playing a very bad game. You're literally losing thousands, and we'll see how much. So I've just picked one that'll roughly be the same staking reward right now. P2P.org, 6.8% APR. Okay, very reasonable. Now, if we come over here again and punch the number 1440 in, we said we're going to stake over the next six years. And I expect, and this is very reasonable, the price of Slana to be 500 bucks in the next six years, or at least in the next seven years, in the next bull market, right? So what we get here is two values, one non-compounded and the second compounded. Now, both of these represent you staking, okay? So the non-compounded and dark blue, you're staking, but all those Slana tokens you get back from doing you know, staking your tokens, you're not putting them back into your big pot of cash. You're not compounding that growth. It's obviously beneficial to compound like in the light blue because you get more tokens. Why? Well, of course, if you have 10,001 tokens you're staking rather than 10,000 and you have 10% APY, that 10% APY works off the total value you have staked. So it always, of course, works for your favor if you go ahead and, of course, get anything you've made and put it back in to staking. So that's what we're going to be doing here, right? There's a big difference of about over 100 tokens, about 140 tokens difference. So 140 tokens at 500 bucks a pop works out to be quite good. And we're going to have a look at just how good in just a second. All right. So I call these free tokens. So the reason why you want to compound or stake in general is again, these are tokens you get for literally just not doing anything at all. You, you just put your tokens up, secure the network, don't have to touch them and you get free money. Okay. So Again, compounded is our goal, non-compounded. You're still getting tokens, that's great, but it's not as much. I wanna introduce you guys to a channel partner, not a sponsor of this video, but rather a partnership that I've created to help all you aspiring traders. I know I have a large audience of you guys who either sometimes trade, casually trade, or again, want to aspire to be a full-time trader. Well, I've partnered with Bybit today because as most of you should know, it is one of the most used exchanges out there and actually one of the most liquid as well. It's particularly suited for those who want to trade in any little nuanced way possible. I'm gonna mention some of those nuances in a second here, but if you guys did wanna create an account with Bybit, if you were impressed at all, please go on any of my descriptions, scroll down to the first link under the want to trade section, aspiring full-time traders, and click my referral link to access Bybit. Over there, once you do sign in, again, you will support the channel in that way as well, you have a whole host of options, right? One of the cool things is you have the spot market, but you also have leverage trading, which means you can you know, put in $1,000 and trade with 10,000. Of course, there are associated risks with that as well. But also you can margin trade, which means that you can put up your crypto assets, keep them locked up so you don't have to sell them and then trade with their associated you know, equivalent, right? If you put $10,000 worth of XRP in, you can trade with $10,000, of course, it's collateral. So if you lose it, you lose it. But of course, that allows you to be more flexible. If you make it back, of course, you keep the asset. It's as very, very simple as that. So that's a really cool benefit. But also, they do have a multiple different ways you can trade with derivatives. They have options. They have futures. It's just expands, right? But some really cool options that I think you guys need to check out here is under the tools section, you can use Trade GPT to trade as a GPT or an AI for you. Really cool is if that's kind of scary to you, and I get it, a lot of people that's kind of like, well, I don't want to do that. Well, it allows you to just DCA as well. You can literally make this bot just DCA for you. It's kind of nutty in a way. Also, you can copy trade as well. So you can copy trade some of the top traders in the spot realm. So, you know, when they buy and sell, you just copy that. Pretty cool, pretty simple. But what I quite like about this is it also has access to futures contracts as well. Something other exchanges can't say, which is awesome so with that said guys if you are interested in buy a bit please go ahead and support the channel use my link down below and of course with that all said let's get straight back into the video so i've put some numbers on the line here to give you some perspective at different price levels now i get it you can't quite see this level over here but basically if solana goes to 100 bucks the difference between what we're doing compounded and non-compounded just staking isn't too bad but it's definitely still there right the difference between 74 dollars and you can't quite see it, $59,000, all right? So basically, again, $10,000-ish. But if we go right up the stack over to the very end over here, $1,000 Solana token, which whether you want to admit might happen or not, I don't care. Look at the $500 right next to it. But that's the difference between $735,000 
than five hundred ninety-four thousand. We're not talking about ten thousand dollars difference. We're talking about a hundred thousand dollars difference here. Okay, definitely pays to compound. Alrighty. So again, this right now we haven't factored in the cost of our tokens. This is just the tokens we get from pure staking. Okay. So here is the true power of it all. Right. We have this. We have a few different numbers on our screen. Right. And this basically reflects. The different things you can do over this period of time now of course again compounding is what we're doing at the very top in green nine hundred ninety three thousand dollars is what we can actually make over the next six years if we again go ahead and do this strategy so this of course keep in mind will all reflect uh solana at a five hundred dollar per token price okay now again we saw before just a second ago what it was if we didn't compound and it actually comes out to nine hundred and twenty three thousand dollars so again, not too bad, right behind it. But hey, who wouldn't want to make some extra damn money over that time period, right? And actually, what is that, $70,000? Still pretty damn good. But the really difference here is, for all of you people thinking to yourselves, oh, why would I even want to do this anyway? Why would I even want to buy passively over time? Why would I want to even compound at all? Well, in red, if you just bought the Solana tokens and you held, that's a difference of over $300,000, actually almost $400,000, huge almost literally half of uh, those two differences right there okay at the very bottom we have selling rewards as well eight hundred and seventy two thousand dollars so what that represents is basically if you staked right if you did this but instead of holding your tokens until Solana hit 500 bucks over time you sold over that course of time you just sold all the income you made from the Solana tokens so you wouldn't actually make as much back very important to remember so again just to get you all on the same page right now what we're doing is buying Solana over a period of time, not when it's an inflated price, when it's at a reasonable price that we can afford to do. And then we hold this over a period of time and stake our tokens. That's it. The thing is, we don't just stake though. Again, as we just saw, we compound. All right. So selling in 2025. Now, some of you will know, based on the chart seen behind me, I've spoken about this many times before. It pays for you to actually compound in the form of selling all your tokens in 2025 buying back in at the lows in you know the next bear market and then selling again in 2030. so you're thinking to yourself karen why are you doing this for slider in this case also two very important reasons one we aren't accumulating a lot of tokens or at great price as a matter of fact to be able to make a substantial gain in 2025. again i'm buying 20 tokens a month i'm not buying or hold you know buying the whole 1400 tokens now does that make sense so why would I want to sell it in 2025 when well, this is a long-term compound game here? We want to take the guesswork out of it. Number two, Slana is a long-term play. It's a different strategy. This is a different plan to what my traditional plans are. Again, this follows a different philosophy than what I would typically do in my major portfolio. Now, here's some important things you probably should know. And is again, going into the reason why I'm actually doing this with Solana. Number one, 70% of Solana is staked. Highly secure, therefore the way in which we make passive rewards via staking, right, is a lot safer. The network is secure. 50% of every transaction is burned. Therefore, there is a natural deflationary mechanism to it. And number three, inflation will be at 1.5% in a few years. So right now, it's about 5%-ish. It's disinflationary. So again, this is one of the lowest inflation rates of any network out there, which I absolutely love. And as long as rewards stay as just as high as they are, will actually be making even more money back, right? Effectively speaking, if you want to consider purchasing power. So in my opinion, it's a very suitable long-term hold. Now these factors make Solana a very suitable long-term hold opposed to other networks. It wouldn't surprise me if Solana was actually even deflationary in the next seven years. Again, you'll have to have enough transactions on the network at 50% being burnt to overcome that 1.5% inflation rate. So again, why Solana? Well, number one, positioning. A good investor finds promising altcoins early, betting on their future. Okay, this is any good investor. It's a visionary play in my opinion, right? Solana will be dethroning, I believe, Ethereum as a number one smart contract blockchain. Ethereum right now is a settlement layer. It's not even its initial vision of a scalable proof of work blockchain. That's Solana. It's version three of this whole smart contract evolution of blockchain tech. I believe, and many others do, it will dethrone Ethereum. Now, I don't think it'll kill Ethereum, by the way. It'll just dethrone it. Now, growing fast, Solana is one of the most preferred networks in crypto right now. It's got the likes of very new tech that's very promising. Pith Network, Wormhole Render, Helium. 
and even make a dow now technically make a dow is just forking solana but still it's very promising to see that it's using solana's technology okay also right universal opinions kathy wood you know the current ceo of arc invest van Eck, very big asset manager around the world holds many etfs who by the way predicted that Solana will have its own ETS very soon. Believe that Solana will be the hub of Web3 growth in the near future. Now, here's something that a gentleman who is currently one of the managers at TradingView actually said about Solana recently. He said, I don't have any personal stake or position, but I'm very optimistic purely based on meeting some of the team and understanding their long-term vision. Keywords, long-term vision. Guess from Piers Corby again, general manager at trading view so again many people in big positions have very positive views of solana and this isn't what i'm basing my research on this just again goes to show i believe this is a long-term hold i believe there'll be etfs out there for solana not long after ethereum and again that's been supported by van Eck as well so here's something you have to understand to maximize our returns we have to look at weekly dollar cost average now say buying 20 sol every month again ideally weekly the shorter time frame we bring this, the better, the more those compounding returns are affecting our current balance of our account, and that's better. If you, you know, dollar cost average 240 Solana once a year, of course, you've got a whole 12 months of your old balance being, uh, you know, staked to, or at least the percentage being staked to, versus if you do that over the course of time, you of course have your percentage APY reflecting your new balance every single day, okay? That's why it's important to do it on as good of a time zone or short of a time zone as possible. Next is daily compounding. So again, this plays into that fact. The more frequent you compound your rewards and every day if possible, the more ROI over time. I again do this with my Hedera HBAR account where I can do this. I receive rewards every single day. I go in there, I claim those rewards and then compound them back in because it just spins that wheel much faster and lastly is attentive right changing your validator depending on the lower fees or higher apy validators might make their fees more expensive over time they might reduce their apy so you have to be attentive and you have to chop and change depending on of course market conditions and so on okay so make sure you're aware if you decide to do this and lastly compounding returns is super powerful only when you pair it with a promising project that can stand the test of time with your conviction. This means nothing if you aren't convicted. I actually did this plan recently with Cosmos Atom. I didn't end up having conviction in Cosmos over the course of time. I see a much better conviction in a longer time zone with Solana, thus this is my plan. Now again, remember, we aren't looking to just buy, you know, 20 Solana every month forever, okay, over the next six years. This will come with, of course, higher and lower prices. We have to mold with the market. So with that said, again, ladies and gentlemen, this goes to show you the power of compounding, but it's only as good as the project you decide to do it with. With that being said, thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon. Take care.